So before this video actually starts, I just wanted to remind you guys that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And in honor, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I released two new pieces of clothing in AppleWorldClothing.com. First off, it's a t-shirt. And second of all, it's this sweatshirt right here. Apple World, it's got the ribbon. Um, I just wanted to announce that 100% of the profit of the t-shirt and the sweatshirt right here will go to cancer research. So I won't be keeping 20, 50, 80% of the money, 100% of the money that I will make from um, these pieces of clothing will go directly to cancer research. So if you guys want to go ahead and pick one of them up, they will of course be linked down below. You're getting an amazing piece um, of clothing and you're also helping the world make it a better place. So anyways, um, I love you guys. Um, for any of you guys that are currently struggling with cancer, I love you guys and we are all with you. If you love Apple, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. What's going on guys? Apple World here. So, so many people struggle while getting an Apple Watch. They don't really find the point of the Apple Watch and if you currently own the Apple Watch and you don't really know how to take all the juice out of it, if you don't really know how to get the best features, in this video, I simply wanted to explain how I use my Apple Watch. Why you kind of need an Apple Watch if you're not really convinced. I already made a video. I uh, It was probably one of my first videos it's actually a really popular video in the channel called why you need an apple watch if you guys haven't checked out that video and you need me to convince you to get an apple watch that's the video for you it's linked down below in this video it's kind of similar but um, in this video i simply wanted to let you guys know how i use my apple watch yeah so without further ado let's get started Alright guys, so first of all, you have to understand that the Apple Watch is not an iPhone. The Apple Watch is not meant to replace your iPhone. On the other hand, the Apple Watch is meant to make your experience with your iPhone even better. And the first reason that I use my Apple Watch for is for notifications. Now, Nikki is my iPhone can, can of course I can read notifications. I mean, I can just dig through, dig through my phone get it and then i can finally read my notification i mean the apple watch can do everything that your iphone can but it's just so handy to have it on your wrist that's my main reason why i love my apple watch because it's simply a device that is so simple to use that is stuck on your wrist now you have to understand that in order um, to understand what the point of the apple watch actually is so notifications now uh, let's go ahead and, and and say calls for example i mean uh I, I hate grabbing my phone for example and for you ladies out there who actually have a purse you have to dig through your purse finally find the phone i mean someone's calling so you're digging through your phone uh you finally find your phone and you're like i don't even want to answer to this to this person with the apple watch it's it's as simple as this somebody's calling you you simply hang up or of course you can still answer on your apple watch now of course if you're in a busy area if you're in the street with a bunch of people um honking and on you know there's it's a busy street you can of course grab your iphone because once again the apple watch is not meant to replace your iphone with the apple watch you can simply know who it is and if you actually want to answer you can answer from your apple watch or you can grab your iphone that's just one clear example on how the Apple Watch is really, really simple and really, really effective on your daily life. To be honest, I've lived with the Apple Watch with over, it's been like over three years now. I mean, I'm obsessed. I love my Apple Watch and I can't imagine a life without my Apple Watch. I mean, I've gotten so used to reading my text on my Apple Watch, uh, receiving calls on my Apple Watch, uh, receiving all of my soccer scores. I mean, the Apple Watch motivates me um, to run more. So we're going to go ahead and talk about health and fitness in just a second. But I've gotten so used to the Apple Watch. Imagine like how much I love this thing. I mean, I can't even live without it. And everybody, I mean, here's a fun fact. The number one product from Apple that has the highest customer satisfaction rate First off is the AirPods. The AirPods are amazing. I've made a bunch of videos about them. Links are down below. But the second one is not the iPhone. The second one that has the the second product that Apple has that has the higher customer satisfaction rate is in fact the Apple Watch. So that basically lets you know on how good of a product this thing actually is. The thing that I love the most about the Apple Watch is um, I see so many people with their iPhones. I mean, they're so obsessed with their phones. I mean, they're texting all day. They're just even on the restaurant, they're texting people. And you know, you're forgetting to actually live a life. I mean, people are so obsessed um, on their phones and they're addicted to their phones on social media. They're always on their phones. And to be honest, I was that type of person before I had the Apple Watch. I mean, on a restaurant, I was with my phone. I was with my family and I was with my phone. So 
thanks to the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch has made me even be more connected because of course this thing is on my wrist 24 seven, but at the same time, I'm not connected all day, or at least I'm not as addicted on social media or just being on my phone or playing games. You know, so the Apple Watch has simply helped me a lot to still stay connected, but leave my phone aside unless I actually need to bring up my phone. I mean, I love receiving everything, all of my notifications, so I'm still connected. And I mean, you can even get LTE now on the Apple Watch. So that means that, for example, you want to go out for a run, you don't even have to bring your phone in order for you to receive still your text, your notifications, and your phone calls. So you can still call people without your phone, which is awesome. I walk my dog. This is how the Apple Watch, um, I love the Apple Watch a lot as well. I walk my dog for almost one hour and a half and I never bring my phone anymore because you know I, I, I'm going out with nature I'm going with hikes and it's amazing not actually bringing my phone to those hikes or whenever I'm going to the park to walk my dog I'm not even bringing my phone but yet I'm still connected if if my family needs me if my girlfriend needs me I'm there the next reason that I love my Apple watch and I think that's why a lot of people love their Apple watch and a lot of people actually purchase an Apple watch is because of health and fitness just to let you guys know that the Apple Watch can actually save your life. Yeah, I'll say that again. The Apple Watch can actually save your life. The Apple Watch will actually notify you if your heart rate is being too low or if your heart rate is actually being too high. The Apple Watch has actually saved so many people worldwide, which is insane. And I am so happy that Apple has finally made a product that improves our daily lives and that it can actually save our lives. I mean, just for that, just for that, the Apple Watch is simply incredible. The Apple Watch also um, motivates you to actually walk more, sit less, and exercise more. I mean, you've got the activity rings. We, we've got them right here. And this is a perfect example for them. Your daily goal is to complete the three rings. First off, it's the move ring. You know how much you actually move throughout the day, how many calories you're actually burning. Second of all, it's the exercise ring. Apple actually tells you to actually exercise for 30 minutes a day, or of course, even more. And then the next one is to stand once every hour. I mean, there's so many people that work in an office and that literally sit so much. And the Apple Watch once every hour is like, come on, get your butt up and actually get walking. So I really like how the Apple Watch really motivates me to actually just sit less and actually move more. I mean, when when it's currently reaching like midnight and I still don't have my activity rings um, uh, filled up, I get really angry because of now with watchOS 5, watchOS 4, actually um, it came out with watchOS 4, you can now compete with your friends. So I'm currently competing with a bunch of friends and my girlfriend um, to see who finishes. Um, there's actually competitions now to you so you can actually compete with the activity rings, who fills them out faster. And it's really fun to be honest and it really motivates me like this you know there's a sense of competition now it's a lot of fun the activity rings is definitely one of my favorite features on the apple watch you've also got the workout app which allows you to track all of your workouts on your wrist so whether you're running swimming because of course the apple watch series 4 at least is waterproof up to 50 meters which is great as well um i mean you can track your yoga workouts your hiking workouts all on your wrist and then all the information actually goes on your iphone so i mean so many people just purchase the apple watch just to actually track their runs um their pace and all that stuff i'm not really much of a runner i don't really exercise that much often i do a bunch of hiking and i love tracking my hikes but uh, the working out is definitely not one of my favorite features because I simply don't use it a lot. But I wanted to mention it in this video because there's so many of you, there's so many people that actually purchase the Apple Watch just because of the workout. You know, like this, they can actually track their workouts. I also have a couple of health apps on my Apple Watch that I really love. Starting off with Waterminder. A Waterminder is an app to help you drink more water. Now, oh my gosh, that's so stupid. I mean, every time I talk about Waterminder, there's so many people, oh my gosh, you need an Apple Watch to remind you to drink water. Waterminder is an app to help you drink more water. Lifesum is another app that I use on my daily basis. Lifesum is basically a food tracker that lets me know on how much I actually eat throughout the day. I basically tell my iPhone how much I eat for breakfast, what I eat for lunch, and what I eat for dinner. And then on my Apple Watch, um, I can check whenever uh, how many proteins I had, how many carbohydrates I had. It's really useful for me, for example, because I'm currently a vegetarian. I started being a vegetarian over a month ago. So I really have to take into consideration I really have to take into consideration my diet. So how many proteins I'm actually eating, how many carbohydrates, but especially the proteins. I really have to be careful with my proteins. So now by a glance of my wrist, I can see how many proteins I have. I mean, that is so powerful for me, just raising up my wrist and see if I actually have to eat more proteins or not. 
And that's basically a really amazing feature for me. The Apple Watch currently can't track your sleep, but of course with third-party apps such as auto sleep can actually track your sleep. I mean, I love tracking my sleep. The only problem with tracking your sleep is that usually um, you charge your Apple Watch at night um, and you know, in order for you to track your sleep, you have to use your Apple Watch in bed, which can sometimes get really annoying because then your battery won't last throughout the next day. But anyways, I mean, I charge it when I'm in the shower, I make it work. But anyways, honestly, great app as well. And all of the apps that I will actually be mentioning in the video are linked down below. So anyways, that's pretty much it for all of the health features that I actually use on my Apple Watch. Coming up next is music. Having music on your wrist is amazing, especially if you run. I mean, you don't even have to bring your phone. You simply have to pop on your AirPods, your wrist, I mean, your Apple Watch, and then you're good to go. You can actually install a bunch of playlists. Your Apple Watch has around eight gigs or 16 gigs of storage. So you can literally put a bunch of music on your Apple Watch. And the Apple Watch also allows you to stream music from Apple Music without your phone once again. I mean, you're doing this, all of this without your phone. So if you go on the gym, you want to play a music without, you, you want to play a song without your phone, you can do that. It is such good stuff. Also, having Siri on your wrist is really not the same than having it on your phone. With your phone, you still have to pick it up. With the Apple Watch, you don't even have to hold the digital crown. You don't even have to say the magical words, hello, Siri. Um, you know, you don't even have to say that. Now with watchOS 5, you simply have to raise to wake. Uh, what's the weather like today? The weather's looking good today. See, I didn't Up even... 22 degrees. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Siri. I didn't even have to, you know, I didn't even have to press the digital crown. And I, I didn't even have to say the magical words. You know, you simply do like that. And then you can actually access Siri. I mean, Siri can be so useful on the Apple Watch. For example, um, I mean, I'm currently cooking. I have my hands that, for example, I'm, I'm cooking or, or something and I'm, I, I have my hands all dirty. I simply do like this and be like, Siri, set a timer for five minutes. And then Siri, of course, sets the timer for five minutes. Things, things like that, they're really small, but they're really useful. And also, talking about small features, this is probably one of my favorite features. Let's say I can't find my Apple Watch uh, I can't find my iPhone in my house, right? I simply pop up my Apple Watch right now, and then I simply do like that. Of course, you can ping your iPhone straight on your Apple Watch, which is one of the features that I often use. I mean, uh, whenever your iPhone has fallen in the couch, simply pop over your Apple Watch once again. It is such an amazing and simple feature. And also, if you actually hold down, this is actually a hidden feature on the Apple Watch. If you actually hold down on the icon, it will actually flash. So, I mean, if you lose your phone on the dark, it will also flash. Once again, amazing stuff. Apple Pay. Apple Pay on your wrist is once again amazing. I mean, you don't even have to bring your phone. Again, you go to the grocery store, you pay with your wrist. It is so convenient. In college, I have so many classes, you know, and they're always changing and I never know where to go. With my Apple Watch, I simply open up my calendar just like that. And there you go. I now know where to go. So, I know what you can still do this with your phone, but once again, you simply have it on your wrist and you can actually add it with your watch face. So it can be really, really convenient. Also, the Apple Watch is a beautiful watch for me. I mean, I love the way it looks. The bands are so interchangeable. I mean, before before the Apple Watch, if you wanted to change your actual watch band, you had to go to Watch Place and they would actually do it for you. With the Apple Watch, it's as simple as this. It's as simple as this. And then you simply grab an Apple Watch band just like this. And there you go. I've officially changed my Apple Watch band. So it's as simple as that. And what do I mean by this? I love the Apple Watch bands. I love changing my Apple Watch band. I actually love changing my watch faces. There are so many different watch faces to choose from, from Mickey Mouse, from the modular watch face, which shows you a bunch of information that you choose. So if you actually wanna show your calendar every time you actually pop up your wrist, or if you want to see the weather, stuff like that is really convenient. And talking about weather, checking the weather on your wrist is simply a flick of the wrist as well. Before, with your iPhone, you had to go on the weather app, tap on the weather, and then you'd see the weather. On your Apple Watch, you simply have it on your complication, and it's as simple as that. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys have an Apple Watch? And if you guys do, which Apple Watch do you guys have? If you guys wanna help support the channel, or help the world with some t-shirts, with awesome clothing, with awesome pillows, such as the, with, with the waveform pillow, Make sure to check out appleworldclothing.com. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. I don't want Peace. That.
know what I 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 know